Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel The Gifts of God. God bless you all. As usual, today we will share with you the message of St. Faustina's Great Warning. We hope that this message will bring peace to all who are listening. Let us begin with a short prayer, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ save us in the whole world. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ save us in the whole world. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ save us in the whole world. No matter how cautiously we are wary, of an explosion of terrible doomsday prophecies, especially no matter how we try, to weigh up claims or rumors as dramatic as God's, coming or the second coming of Jesus, there is no doubt that one of such prophecies, came from a saint newly canonized in 2000, who is Saint Maria, Faustina Kowalska. She was revealed divine mercy, that is celebrated on the second Sunday, of Easter. Jesus said to the saint, Tell the whole world about my mercy. After that day will be justice day. Prepare the world for my final coming. Tell souls of my great mercy for the day of terror, the day of Thai justice, is near. The justice day mentioned in St. Faustina's revelations, was probably related to World War II, which occurred around the end, of the mid-1930s when Faustina, a resident of Poland, was receiving messages. However, speaking of Christ's return also means talking about something more permanent and inclusive. Please remember that, we are not obligated to believe or accept such messages. Although Faustina was canonized, her prophecies were not officially recognized or approved. Even such messages coming from a saint were rarely acknowledged. Nevertheless, they are certainly worth examining closely and signal that God values purification, especially for those who tend to rely completely on his mercy. Jesus told Faustina before the day of justice, I will send mercy day, I am extending the time of mercy for the good of sinners. But woe to those who do not realize the hour of my visitation. Saint Faustina says in the first page, while I was praying, I heard Jesus say the following words, I bear a special love for Poland, if it obey my will. I will elevate it to the status of extraordinary and holy. From Poland will come a ray of light to prepare the world for my final coming. Is it referring to Pope John Paul II, or both include Saint Faustina? We all know the Pope coming from Poland, and he fulfilled a key role in the recognition of the merciful Lord culminating in his canonization of Faustina. Although the spark originated in Poland, which led to the downfall of communism, it is also closely linked to St. John Paul II, who was at one time working behind a secret force. They associated to overthrow the communist regime. According to another revelation, he was carefully chosen by the Virgin herself, whom he venerates greatly. During an apparition in Medjugorje on September 3, 1981, the Most Holy Mother directly approached the large image of John Paolo II and hugged it, smiling. She told the visionaries to raise their eyes to him as the father of all, and the visionary Marjana Saldo commented, the brilliance in his eyes was similar to that of Our Lady. Meanwhile, Saint Faustina's famous prophecy that the sky would become dark and there would appear a very large cross shining. Interestingly, this was related to a mysterious event that had already occurred in the 4th century. The prophecies, allegedly given by Jesus himself to St. Faustina around 1930, were also recorded in her diary as follows, Before I come as a righteous judge, I will first come as a merciful holy king. Before the day of justice comes, I will give the people a sign in heaven like this, all the lights in heaven will be extinguished, and great darkness will cover the earth. Then everyone will see the sign of the cross in heaven and the glorious light emanating from the nail holes in the hands and feet of the Savior will illuminate the earth for some time. This event will happen shortly before the end. In the message of Garabandal, 
visionary children were also foretold, that shortly after the Synod on the family, there would be a warning. Based on the word shortly in God's time, we can't tell how long, maybe today, next week, two years from now, or 100 years from now, or 1,600 years from a Saint Cyril foretold the hour of divine mercy. Those things must come to pass, but not the end, the preceding sign is also related, to an event occurring in Jerusalem, recorded in a letter by Saint Cyril, residing in Jerusalem, who was a doctor of the church, in the 4th century. He wrote to the Emperor Constantius as follows. On a certain day of May, around the third hour, a very large cross will appear in the sky, right on Golgotha. It is not far from the holy Mount of Olives. Not only one or two people will be able to see the cross, but the whole city will. This cannot be conjectured, nor is it a momentary miracle that arises and occurs in an instant. But it will go on for hours, brighter than the sun that our eyes can see. The whole city of Jerusalem, both frightened and delighted at this omen, immediately ran to the church, and altogether gave praise to Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God. A certain date is maybe on May 7th. When related to the ancient church dates, it also means the fifth hour, of the seventh hour which, adds up to the ninth hour, meaning around 3 p.m. It was the hour that Saint Faustina was proclaimed the hour of mercy. This was almost 1,600 years after Saint Cyril had been foretold the hour of mercy. If we add a few words to the beginning and the end, we have an interesting 4th century prophecy that is now fulfilled. At 3 p.m., the hour of God's mercy, all the faithful run immediately to the church or pause for a sufficient time, will pray for divine mercy to give praise to Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God. Note, according to the ancient Roman calendar, they did not have a certain ordinal number of days for each day and each week like today. But there are three certain dates, knowns is the time nine days ago, ides the 7th of March, May, July, October or the 5th of every month. Ides is the 13th or 15th, Kalends is the first day of the next month. There will be terrible phenomena and great signs from heaven. Then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in heaven, all the tribes of the earth will beat their breasts, and they will see the Son of Man coming with great majesty and glory on the clouds of heaven. That is all we want to share with you. We really hope that you share this message with others so that they too can know the message of Saint Faustina. Thank for watching. Bye for now.